the Flash, alas, shall run no more. Sad day, friends, for all of you Flash fans out there. The CW's Flash has been canceled. It will end with Season 9. And if you can take a look at our previous reviews of the other seasons that have been going on, I think like 7 and 8, you will know exactly why it's getting canceled because the show is no good, no mo. I was definitely a big fan of The Flash. I was actually a big fan of the Arrowverse up until, I'm going to say like Season 4 of The Flash. I uh, couldn't finish out the end of the Arrow. Really struggled with the show. It, it felt like it kind of degraded in quality. Uh, but nine seasons is a hell of a run. So let's take a look at the articles and see what they have to say for themselves. Fairly sure they signed Grant Gustin to like an extension. So I don't really know what's going on here. Like, where's the money going? Are we money laundering at this point? We all know Batwoman was money laundering. So are they just laundering money for The Flash? Who knows? But here's what we know. It finally happened. The Flash has been canceled. It will officially end in 2023 following a ninth season of 13 episodes. Apparently, CW and the Warner Brothers have announced it's coming to an end. Uh, it was one of the most popular shows on the CW and, and considered one of the flagships series of the network. I don't think they're going to make anything else. I think they're, they're looking at dumping this channel. I, I, th I think the CW, as we know it, may be over. Obviously, the Arrowverse is over, which is strange because the Arrowverse was such a unique thing on television and had such a... Uh, you know, such a, a large follow, like large niche following, you know, a lot of fans. I mean, I count myself amongst them. Um, you know, it was one of the tent poles of the Arrowverse. Uh, the Arrow itself ended in 2020. And the Barry Allen was introduced on the Arrow in, in 2014. So you know, we're talking a long time of the show being on. And your only choice for the Flash, Barry Allen is currently Ezra Miller, who is a giant. I don't know what's going on there. We have videos about that too, if you'd like to check them out. Uh, but I think there's still a devoted fan base that's still looking, you know, that are like, oh, this is a sad day. And I, I don't blame them. If you really like the show, you may want to catch it to the end. Or you may want to catch, you know, what, you know, what you started with. I, I don't blame you at all. That leaves the CDL, uh, the CW with only one remaining show, Superman and Lois. I can't imagine that's going to continue at this point. Yeah, you know, I think it's its window might be over. I'll give it one more season. But at one point, the Arrowverse, uh, the Arrowverse had the Arrow, F the Flash, Batwoman, Supergirl, Legends Tomorrow, Black Lightning, all of them at the same day, the same time. And now it's just like, blah, it's all over. It's over, Johnny. It's over. It seems like with the merger of Warner Brothers and Discovery that they're just hacking and slashing. The CEO, David Zaslav, has it out for scripted programming and a whole lot of shows. Clearly, they were cutting costs because all of the um, CGI was going to garbage. And, you know, you can't blame the show necessarily because they were like, oh, this is, you know, you can't blame them because their budget got slashed. But you can blame them for, you know, just running out of things to talk about and stories to present. As my compatriot Noob Noob says, he could barely remember anything that happened in any of the seasons. In our last review of it, he couldn't even tell me. <laughs> he forgot that it was in two parts. They tried saving it by splitting up the seasons. I just think it's really hard for, for regular network television to keep going. And with the merger, it, it was just too much. Uh, let's just check this other article that gives a few more details. We've got the fastest man alive will come to a stop in 2023. Uh, it's going to have a truncated 13 episode run. So at least they'll get to say goodbye. I think that's nice for a show like Legends of Tomorrow didn't get to necessarily say goodbye or have a full 
season to to really flesh out a story of what they want to do. You know, in nine years and nine seasons, most shows don't get anything like that. So congratulations to them and, and everything they did. And I hope Grant Gustin and the rest of the cast go on to do some really great things because uh, I, I really think they enjoyed what they did and it showed in what I saw in the show. So keep it up. I hope, hope you guys move on to some great things. Uh, the past season averaged just north of a million total views. Um, which is, I mean, clearly the show is in decline. It says they were down 32 and 40% from season seven. And out of the 19 dramas that the CW aired last season, it ranked number four in total audience and tied Superman and Lois it, uh, for second in the demo. It had a B minus on TV line. And the only remaining original cast members are Grant Gustin, Candace Patton, and Daniel Panabaker. So we'll we'll see what happens. Uh, even what's it, Jesse L. Martin? That's right, he left to uh, star in, in another in a pilot of another show. And it's weird because, like I said, they just inked a brand new deal back in 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 January. So. Meow. It uh, looks like the eighth season, which wrapped on June 29th, but it's going to resume. Was it September of uh, the final season will begin in, in September or production of it. So we'll see it in 2023. So that's it. That's it, folks. That's a wrap on The Flash. You know, are you sad? Tell me what you think in the comments below. I I moved on from the show, but did you move on? Who are you going to miss? Do you hope they move on to other things? Do you want Grant Gustin to replace Ezra Miller? I could get behind that. Faux show. So let us know what you think down in the comments. Uh, Noob Noob's going to watch it till the end. I already bailed on it, but maybe I'll catch this last season. Should I watch the last season? Would it be worth it to me? Or since I missed like season six, seven, and eight, should I just move on and, and say, forget about it? You let me know down below because uh, I'm genuinely interested. Thank you to everybody out there. Please like, subscribe, give thumbnail or give us a thumbs up. Baby Yoda in the back, he appreciates it. King Ghidorah also appreciates it. He's hanging out right there. Anyway, uh, catch our full-length audio podcast. You can hear it on iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, all those great places. It's free. It's a, a good, you know. It's definitely it's a great show. It's an amazing show. You can catch it. We release it every week, Sunday nights, and you can catch the live stream of it right here on YouTube. It's uh, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But for all of us here at Our Reviews Will Kill You, to all of y'all at home, I'm on to the next one.